bit with me and please let's be on our feet i know ye wonyame a oye wonwanwani bibia nsu sa onwanwani nyame no eye that's what i know this is god i preach about That is the Lord I'm about to share with you. The Lord we serve, that who is a wonderful God, amazing God, marvelous God, powerful God, all-knowing God, able God. That's the one we serve. We don't serve the other God. You have to meet him. You have to do all by yourself just for him to dash you something. I'm talking about God that even when we were unfaithful, he was still faithful. When we were doubting, he is still hopeful for us. The God that he came down on earth to my level, to your level, to the world, and lifted us, not just to be something, but to be equal with him and call us his friends and the children of God. That's the wonderful God we serve. And I'm about to share some of his deeds with you this morning. This morning, I'm glad to minister to you. Let us praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Oh, church, let us praise the Lord. Oh, men, let us praise the Lord. Woman, let us praise the Lord. Oh, and everything that has blessed, let us praise the Lord. Thank you. Let us praise the Lord. 
let us praise the Lord. Let us praise Jesus. Let us praise the Son of the living God. Let us praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. When we talk about praise, when we say praise, praise is admiring something. When you admire something, that means when I admire God, not just a thing there. When you admire something and then you confess about what you admire about that particular thing, that's a praise there. Anything you admire, but you can admire it within and don't show up, doesn't tend to be praised yet. But when confession comes, outwardly speak about your admiration. That's the praise there. Praise comes in the form and the meaning where you put value. You put value on something. Value in our contemporary language, when you put price in on something. I put price on something. You, you, you see where Kwabna even in our house. Sometimes we bring something from work. We can just put them on the dining table. And no one cares, and yet it's valuable to the family. Have you noticed, my dear guests, sometimes you can bring particular things to the house. You don't want even to put it down. And even when you go to the room, you don't just put it anywhere. You find a place to let the thing be kept. And yet, you brought an equal things to your house. Why one particular way and the other the next way? One might be valuable so much so that you don't have to be careless about it. And more also the way you handle it. That's a value there. I won't tell you how your God is. Or who your God is. Or who my God is. You can tell how I see my God. And how I see your God. By the way you put a value. The value. How you go about his things. How you are particular. It's also a sense of an approver. Value is, uh, I mean... Praising is a sense of approval. When I approve something, it means I have accepted it wholly and heartedly. And that makes my approval. This is what I have accepted. Among billions of women on planet Earth, I went around here and there, and this is what I picked. So it doesn't care how other women come out with their new and latest and the rest. I have put in a value on one particular one. That's a value there. And that value does not, uh, I mean, rest only. She knows it. I love her. It is not about she knows it. I love her. It is by showing, portraying. Confessing it. That's a praise there. If I love my church, I don't just love my church by churching. I got to show it. Put a value on it. Admire it. That when I get here, I sense that I'm at a place that I love to be at. Not just because I have to spend my hours here and occupy the Sunday morning just to mean I have come to church. That is tradition and religion. We are not 
church and tradition and neither religion. Ours is life. That's what the gospel, gospel, gospel stands for. It's a message that has brought us hope. When the hopeless was mingling and, I mean, come on. Someone brought you hope. Someone has made you man and a woman. Someone has made you acceptable. So, I don't come to this man, just come to occupy my three hours. And I've made it to church. I come to show it. I come to confess. I come to let him know you, you, you are the greatest in the midst of all that I know. And you understand in such a situation what goes to him or her is always the best. That's why we don't give God a half eye gift. We give him the best because we follow that. Oh, Jesus. I have common sense just to think and know much that when I move that car, which is going, bra, 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 I will buy in for it regular. But the day I move that whole free being a Mercedes Jaguar and Range Rovers, the rest you all call about. When you go, you say, I want Premier Plus. Because you know you're dealing and writing with something. There you go. If you know you are dealing with the Premier Plus woman, You are setting her with Platinum Plus. You add value to what you respect. Praise. I was in Ghana and uh, somewhere in Nantes. The African Cup of Nation. Later, I would like to talk. And uh, Ghana was so anxious to lift the cup that time. That was the time we were having some prayers like uh, Anthony Yabua, Abedi Pele, and some of them. And everyone knew that year we are bringing down home the cup. And uh, that year, trust me, this young man, Abedi Pele. He prayed, he prayed his heart for Ghana. And unfortunately, he was given a red card in the semi-final. So when he was taken out and we went to finals, I hope it was with Africos or so. Senegal, thank you. All what Ghanaians were saying, if Abedi had been here, if Abedi had prayed, they knew that match wouldn't have gone into penalty kicks and let alone missing the cup. So, when people see what you put into things, collectively, generally, and individually, what they talk about you is the praises they heap on you. Human being knows that when a baby prays, he prays all the heart. And some are going to kick they are careful with their legs. He, she, he does it with all his heart, as the Bible says, with all your mind. To obey this side, that is his praise for his country. That this is the country I have schooled in, has brought me up, have brought me to abroad, I have prayed professional, so when it is my time to go and show to my country, I will put in all my abilities. I won't hold back anything. If I get to no 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I know where I come from. And if I get to know this man had me by my hand. And out of all young men, some died on the way and the rest. And I will get to this level of a super nation among the world. And I will stand for him and be his speaker. Oh, Jesus, I will be a fool to hold back. Excuse me, could be a praise, but maybe you might help back something. It is let it all out. That's what praise means. It is let it all out. That is why proper praising is combination of lifting hands, jumping, limping, and pray. Come on, you have no style for praise. Praise also could be when you are in quietness. You imagine that. Sometimes you will be quiet and pause over things. Meditate. Oh. And then in the midst of meditation and alone, you, you, you will sense an appreciation of ah. He means he means so much to me. You got to take some time sometimes and take your mind through all this stuff. You will see from the bottom of your heart that mm, someone's hand is in this. And trust me, I can tell you, I can bet you, I can assure you, that hand is not your family elder's hand. That hand is not any other person's hand. That's a hand and the finger of doing by God. You see, when you do these assessments, and you come out with a value that will tell you, that will give you the picture, of the level of your praise. Now, let's see. Read as well. Can you give me the book of John, the gospel? Excuse me. Acts. I call the book of Acts as a continuation of the work of the Holy Spirit. And this time, please, let's read from verse 1. And... When we get to here, we will, I mean, emphasize it. And let's read it in this way. Please, I encourage you to take your time and read the whole book and get the lesson. But when it gets to verse 8, we will repeat it thrice. Or maybe we're done with the reading and then we come back and repeat verse 8 thrice. Just to stick and get there. Crimping the metal hook. He says, Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they did daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to arms from those. Excuse me, to ask arms from those who entered the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple ask for arms. And facing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, look at us. So he gave them his attention expecting to receive something from them. That's a value there. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. 
and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eight. So he leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them. Walking, leaping and praising God. There you go. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. That means this praise was not, ah, 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 it, it wasn't a, it, it wasn't a, a hideout. And ladies and gentlemen, have God done something for you? Forget about what one will say. It, 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 it's not a machine. The Bible even says that if you will be ashamed of me before people, then I will also be ashamed of you before myself. There are so many people who are secret lovers. When you come to praise, praise is not about secret love. Praise is about showing. You love me, let me see it. God says he wants to see your love. Not just he want to sense it. No. He want to see it. Where are we? Nine? Ten. Then they knew that it was he who sat beginning again um, at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Let's give God a worship. <laughs> Whew. Hallelujah. We can take a lesson from this. And please, let's read together it. I would prefer we read it as we mean it with all boldness. Amen. Amen. Go. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them. Walking, leaping, and praising God. I love some more shouts. I love for more appreciation. And let's do it as we're doing to admire the mighty one we serve. And I want to promise you, anytime you do it, I will receive it and I will present it at his feet. Because it's our living sacrifice. It's our living sacrifice. Sacrifice is a praise. Sacrifice is a praise. So not, not till we go to Egypt or Israel or on the mountains and strata the sheep alone is sacrifice. Paul put it in his Romans book that a, 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 a body set aside. Are you getting it? It's a living sacrifice. When you talk of your holiness, a young man, a young woman, maybe a man, you could be still whatever, and alone, nobody compels you, nobody is watching you, and still you say, no, I will live my life as the Bible demands from me. As soon as we do that, we call it consecration. That means sanctification. That means holiness. Set aside is a praise. It means that you said, my body will not praise the woman. My body will praise God. My body will not praise men. My body will praise God. My strength will not be given to ordinary entertainment and stuff. But will be given to God. I was sharing with you the other time that when it comes to salvation, it's a serious affair. And I was telling you, thank God. I'm not against, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. It is good to create entertainment in the church, programs in the church, uh, excuse me, unions, groups, all those that will help and invite people. But listen to me. That should not be the target of propelling your praise. Your praise must be spontaneous. 
your praise must from the inner knowing who has made you who you are and all out praise him excuse me can i put it in this way do you want to tell me or can i be convinced that even though we are not coaches we are not soccer coaches let me be specific when we go to stadium and that round ladder round ladder football enters the net do the coach waves you before we pray, we, we, we we celebrate go we see it automatically and people shout and does all kinds of things so so when someone wants to be taught how to praise god or put value on God. Well, we haven't given up. Still, the church is there to teach. But then, please teach yourself. The Bible also teaches about what we just read. This is a man born lame. He was born as a crippled. Can I put it at the crippled man, lame man, couldn't walk from birth. Everyone knew of it in his area. So he has, by his uh, uh, handicap, he thinks, but I believe there is no handicap in the world. Trust me, go to some part of the world. They are the people that are even great inventors. I want to tell you there is no situation that handicaps you that you will say you can praise God. I brought that as a point that you have no excuse to praise God. Except he has got not to know who he is and what God has made him to be. So the Bible says he took advantage of his situation to professionalize and explore. But every day he sat at one place to the entrance of the church. And when he saw Peter and John coming to worship God at the ninth hour, let me tell you whom you must praise. Peter and John even though have come to know Jesus. Listen. But they were still practicing tradition. Going by ninth hour and three hour and all this thing was a procedure. It's only Jesus that has brought a liberation. So every day they go, let me tell you, religion and tradition cannot heal you. So it has become a setup, a system. They take him there in the morning and take him back home. Special killing. And some people took interest in doing this because they also get their share. Listen to me. Whatever situation you find yourself, not until Christ Jesus comes in. Whatever you're doing, you're just beating about the bush. Beating about the bush. But the Bible says, one day, say with me, one day. Oh, Jesus. That says the Lord and want me to tell you, your one day is here. Oh, my goodness. That says the Lord, your one day is here. Have you noticed, have you seen, sometimes you will hear the testimonies from pastor, especially me, I don't underestimate things that God has done. When I even get good water to drink, I love to share about it. And if you don't take care, the very water I drank, which maybe you drank better than me, the way I will say my, you will be jealous of mine. Because I don't take things for granted. 
And I put value on little, little things. Little, little things are so important to me. So, today is not just a careless day. Today is the day something special has been given to you. Thank you for your respect. As the Holy Spirit draws down the presence of this cripple has brought an atmosphere for us to connect into. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. If I will go and preach and after I preach I can only sleep soundly. I slept soundly because I feel I was so much received. I feel I was so much accepted. I feel everybody came to church understood what I said. That day, I will review my message. I will prefer to preach when I know I have spoken from the belly. And in course of talking, we see some of them have stood on your feet. Amma, so much you love me, some of them have slapped you. And as much as some new people has come, I want them to stay forever, but I have no style to talk to stem you. I have no crack or rope to tie you here. Then some will knock you. And after the message, I feel like, will he even come back again? And then I also start to think about myself. What is even wrong with me? But when you go back under the waist and under the lines, and all are falling in praise, that the Bible says, who won unto you? When all people say, you are good. Oh, you speak good. Your English is so fantastic. Oh, you, your vocabulary, fabulous. And if your vocabulary is fabulous, your attitude is phobia. Yeah, if you get a good vocabulary, your attitude should be phobia. Then you, you are accepted. Mm, I'm accepted. And you also came to church. Everything is comfortable. Sometimes the church must be a place. Even when you are sitting on the seat, you must come to the edge. Because the next word, you don't know where it's coming to attack you. But God is calling for teachable hearts. Teachable hearts. And they will come out and say, Though he slays me. I will still pray his name. Oh my Jesus. If it is about, I made some more money last week. If it is about last two years, I got the best girl in town. If it is about yesterday, the whole congregation was filled to capacity with the overflow room superflow. Then praise God. I could tell them man doing is there. Of course, I could read from my treasure's face that because the congregation is packed and the overflow is overfloated or whatever, he smiles to me, tells me that he has counted some couple of thousands and thousands and thousands. That alone will give me a fatting heart. And you will see flow preaching coming. Because after service, good share. And if only this is the way will stimulate us to praise God, then something is wrong. Then something is wrong. We praise him heartedly that after service, you don't know which car you are going to join to house. I will praise you because after service, 
Landlord will tell me, you rent my house and you speak like this. Some affected me. And you can understand what follows. And in all circumstances, situations, up and down, let Jesus be Jesus. Oh my goodness. Let Jesus be Jesus. Because he is Jesus of season and out of season. There you go. So, a day came and it was an ordinary day. Which I prophesy today is not your ordinary day. When they took the lame man there and you saw Peter and John how they were dressed and gorgeously looking. That's a deception of human character. He said, all people are coming. But these people look gorgeous. The address tells that their gift will be special. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. We serve God of no respecter of persons. As much as Potter's house can blow around the world, no one knows what word performance can do in the kingdom. The big head is useful to God as much as the little tongue, which even you don't see, is appreciated by God. So when he saw Peter and John coming, looking good, he said, as for this year, I've got my man. Maybe that's what some lady will say. We went to church. A nice young man came with a nice tie, well-dressed, well-dressed, cultured. I even hired him. And he hired me back. Hey, Jaji. Man look at outward, but God looks from the heart. So when the crippled man, the lame man, saw the condition, the appearance, the Bible says he crossed the already crossed legs properly. So that they will see and have mercy really on him. When they got to him, say, hey, guy. Say with me, hey, guy. I want you to talk to the situation anytime it comes across. We are not here to give you silver. Neither to come and give you gold. Because we can't give what we don't have. But we have what values more than that. And in the name of Jesus Christ, give and then walk. Sometimes when you release your best, don't say it's done. The Bible says he was still sitting. And then they held him sarcastically. Mean, haven't you heard what we said? That's saying the Bible. They held him by the hand, pulled him, and when they pulled him, and everyone thought these people are misbehaving, so like we saw them nicely. Sometimes you will see a nice preacher, but carry some dangerous ways. He will lead some of them. You will feel this church. Am I at the right place? Sometimes you need the kunti. What do you call it? Is that the right word? Help me, the nurses. The bitter pills. I want the name. Kuni. I was close to it. To balance your sugar. Diet things in the stomach. They give him the bitter pool 
uncomparing, unlike the one they come and because they are professional servers, so they take time to sit him and teach him how to cross the leg. You think they love you? It's not a love. Pampling and to destroy you. And when they pull him by the hand, that's faith there. The Bible says, all of a sudden, strength came into the ankle. Let some strength come into you today. Let some power come into you today. Let the way come into you today. I call heaven to be witness. You will never be the same. Then the Bible says, just as they pulled him and he thought he was going to fall, he started leaping, walking, and praising God. This alone teaches what is praise. Praise is not what is gentle. Hey, you don't you know how I was sick? The Bible says, he jumped, walking, leaping, and praising God. That was more and more after they went to the sanctuary. The Bible says he has been sitting behind for all this time of his life. But for this day only, he went in. Is that not the word? With them. You will go in today. You not just have come to church. You not just have come to occupy your time. Today, you will go in. Today, you will be part of blessings. Today, you are the confession of positive miracles that has meant for your life. So sometimes, if you've been doing things all the time your way, I can promise you all the time get the same answer. Sometimes, you need some radical way of doing things. And people will ask, where, which bush does he come from? I don't come from just Kato. Maybe I come from one of the bush in Kato. Which Ethiopia I said, thank you. Who does his things in his own way? When the Spirit of God comes on me, I can promise you, don't bet on me. That is why I become unpredictable. You can't tell what will come next. And I know it is only when the Holy Spirit takes you into his realm. That's where you can meet your fatness. Your fatness in your upgrade and upgoing is not lying on the surface of formality. After all, even in this world, perceive I'm lying. When do we say invention? Invention is some one day when something has come out that used not to be ordinarily known. That's a ridicule of knowing things. And, and, and you want to be satisfied by people hit your shoulder. They told you they love you. Trust me. If it is they love you, then the world is ended. Jesus can come. Because these days there is no sound. That sells in market apart from the songs of love. Love, love, everything love. But tell me, you are aged enough. Are they this love? Jesus, help us. So, I can just conclude here. When the layman saw what God has done for him, he praised. He praised him. And that was the reason why the praise was from the bottom of his heart. I, I, it reminds me the same Bible. It got to somewhere when he was interrogated. They went on to extend to bring him his parents. Is that not the story? And the parents said, ask him, where? Bile. Konina denche Kenya. Ask him and let him tell you his own experience. We didn't teach him how to limp. 
We didn't teach him that kind of dancing. I haven't danced some before. I haven't. We didn't teach him how to do that. Ooh, extreme praise. I'm looking for an extreme praise. 